Okay, so hi, hi Peter, welcome to my show, Wikipedia. Hey, hey, nice to be here. Um, so, so tell me how things are going on your end. Well, things are quite uh, fine, you know, uh, working uh, with my students, doing research, most of it on Wikipedia. All's mm -hmm. good, all's good. I would like, uh, as I was uh, telling you in the email, I would like to be uh, starting the education program, Wikipedia education program in Korea. So hopefully this will get off uh, to some start in the near future. Mm -hmm. For now, I am looking for volunteers who would like to be trained as ambassadors and so on. Uh, so my name is uh, Piotr Konieczny. I've been a Wikipedia contributor since uh, 2004. And since about 2004, I've also been in academia for most of uh, the time uh, since as a grad student, but for the last, uh, since, uh, since the m March this year, I've been a professor at Hanyang University at, uh, at, uh, in Korea. And for the last five or six years, I've been teaching students, first in the US and now in Korea, about Wikipedia and with Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So this is one of my major areas uh, of interest how to use Wikipedia in education. I've been practicing uh, this for quite a few years. And uh, I will mention, it was a bit of vanity here, that uh, in 2007, I think, my article about teaching with Wikipedia became the first academic paper on this uh, subject, teaching uh, with Wikipedia. As far as I know, at least nobody so far has corrected mm -hmm. me on that, so I make this claim. Great. And, uh, so, uh, since uh, you've been a Wikipedian and an academician for a long time, and you've been teaching students, uh, what's your experience as a teacher um, in terms of the behavior of students and their participation on Wikipedia? Well, it's uh, been certainly an interesting experience. Overall, I find that students are, uh, I would say, ambivalent about the assignment along the lines that students don't like to do much work of any kind. I mean, there are always exceptions. You'll always mm -hmm. find very good students who want to learn. But both, uh, I think, in the US and in Korea and probably everywhere else in the world, a lot of students are just taking a course and they want to get a good grade. They just want to get a degree, start making money. They don't really find uh, the uh, subject that useful. So it, it has been said that students will often find Wikipedia course more useful than other assignments, and I see evidence of that. So, so students will appreciate that they are learning something practical and that their assignments are not wasted. So I haven't seen, let's say, students you know, jump on board and declare uh, universally they all love Wikipedia and they only want to do assignments on Wikipedia. That would be so, the, a big overstatement. Uh, I do think Wikipedia assignments have a number of valuable uh, qualities. Students uh, will learn how to use uh, wikis, will learn more about Wikipedia, and their work will not be wasted. And there is a correlated increase in motivation, but how significant all the studies I have seen so far have never compared the Wikipedia assignment, the increase in motivation it gets, to some other innovative or even traditional assignments. Um, so. I think it's a beneficial assignment. I think students overall like it more than other assignments, but we have to remember that students in general will not like any kind of assignment. So. Well, that's true. So now that I don't want to sound the negative, I'm very fond of the Wikipedia assignment, and I think we are doing some great things teaching students with it, about it. We know that on the Wikipedia's end, the results are excellent. Recently, there was a paper published about, uh, I think, people teaching with Wikipedia in the area of psychology. And they found that students um, have improved something like, if I recall correctly, 800 articles to, uh, to I think, a solid B status on the level similar that professors working on those subjects were able to improve other articles. So we know that students can contribute a lot uh, to Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is certainly benefiting a lot uh, from the wiki from those assignments, as long as they are carried out properly. We had some hiccups in the past. It's a learning experience, still is a learning experience. I'm having quite a lot of learning experiences here in Korea when I'm t teaching students with and about Wikipedia. So on the Wikipedia end, it's definitely, a, I think we have made a lot of progress. 
Um, Wikipedia is also developing tools to make it easier for educators to teach with Wikipedia. This year, I actually started uh, testing some of the uh, tools developed for that, so I'm, I have just started using them, so I cannot really tell you how useful they are. And again, students, the ones I have here in Korea, do tend to, to uh, like uh, the idea of the assignment. I have a number of students who tell me they enjoy learning about Wikipedia, but again, those are the voices coming from the, you know, the best students, the ones who actually want to learn. In the end, those are the students we like to teach with. Uh, but uh, the, a, good, um, a good number of other students, uh, I think, well, they just uh, are not motivated so much by Wikipedia as they wouldn't be motivated, I think, by almost anything else. And uh, this is one of the things I am trying to figure out, how to, to motivate those who don't want to learn, how to tell them that they are going to benefit from learning Wikipedia skills, wiki skills, they will, uh, their future careers, their inform digital literacy will be enhanced. Because just telling them this is not cutting it. So this is something that I am currently quite interested in, figuring out the ways to motivate the students better. Um, so again, this is kind of a brief overview of where I am with my teaching experience. Okay. Uh, and um, we also tell a little bit about uh, your experience as a teacher, uh, you know, a teacher Wikipedia. Uh, most of the teachers and professors are quite skeptical about mm. the articles on Wikipedia. They complain about the authenticity of Wikipedia articles. So, uh, so what do you feel as a teacher, and what kind of problems you have faced as a teacher? Well, um, so kind of start from the end. I haven't faced any problem as a teacher, as in nobody was impeding my teaching with Wikipedia. I had the uh, been fortunate to have uh, good colleagues both uh, in Pittsburgh and here in Hanyang who are very open to me teaching with Wikipedia. At the same uh, at the same time, I have found that there is a lot of reluctance uh, for anybody else to join in the program. And we have actually a, a good understanding of this. In the past two or three years, so we have had several papers published on the on those topics. Why academics are skeptical about Wikipedia? In fact, uh, I actually have a paper now in review on this very subject should be coming out hopefully within the next few months. So what we know about this is that, uh, as you said, p professors, academics may be skeptical about Wikipedia, so we need to distinguish, I think, uh, first of all, between the young professors, the old professors. The old professors, uh, here we're talking about the digital divide, really, the generation gap on the internet, they do not understand Web 2.0 they are not used to the idea that people can create uh, quality content. They are simply not used to, to collaboration on that scale. So even so, we have a number of articles, uh, academic articles, that prove beyond, I think, any doubt that quality of Wikipedia is as high as any other encyclopedia, usually better. And in fact, it's about as good in many topics as some of the tertiary works like Encyclopedia of Sociology, a few others that are recommended to students, the old generation, first of all, is primarily not familiar with those studies, and even if they are, they are still, still skeptical about the mode of knowledge production on Wikipedia. They are used to peer review. In order for something to be acceptable by them, it has to go through peer review, it has to be reviewed by experts. We know that on Wikipedia, we have some experts, of course, but primarily we are the amateurs, and they are subconscious to a big degree, I think, but they are scared by the idea that amateurs, you know, everybody, their students, uh, their neighbors, you know, the random job from the street can produce content that in the end is as good as something they have produced themselves. So here is one of the reasons that the older generation is very skeptical at joining, well, you know, Wikipedia either as editors or as people who teach with it. Now, for the younger generation, this is different. Young, younger people, are more likely to know how Wikipedia works, so they are more likely to understand that it produces quality content. So both the young and the old are st often also discouraged because they think Wikipedia is actually for profit. Many people even today don't realize Wikipedia is a non-profit, so one of the common uh, reasons Wiki academics are not going to be using Wikipedia or recommending it for students is they are afraid that uh, they will be pushing students into some kind of evil, capitalistic, you know, for-profit enterprise because they don't, you cannot even imagine that such a big site as Wikipedia is non-profit. 
Again, this is not that surprising. In the top, uh, if you look at the list of top hundred websites on the internet uh, and the top uh, what the, the top hundred most popular websites, we have a list such uh, uh, on Wikipedia. You will note that Wikipedia is the only non-profit in the hundred in the top one hundred most popular websites. The only other website the, uh, that may be non uh, non-profit in this group is the Pirate Bay, but uh, the Pirate Bay has advertisements. It's uh, Difficult to really uh, agree whether it not, the Pirate Bay is non-profit or not. Everything else outside Wikipedia is for, is pro, is for profit. So again, many people don't understand this. Now, uh, going back to the younger academics, once they understand how Wikipedia works, up to including it's a non-profit, they are certainly go, uh, very positive uh, towards the project, but they are not positive towards it enough to contribute to it. And the reason for this is sadly. Wikip contributing to Wikipedia doesn't do anything for our careers. I, for example, now at my new job, in theory, should not be contributing to Wikipedia because I am not going to get anything out of it. Uh, I, as many other young academics, are, I am supposed to be publishing research in peer-reviewed papers. Uh, I'm, it doesn't matter that even now a number of professional associations, such as ISA and ASA, those are international sociological and American sociolog sociological associations, are calling for their members to contribute to Wikipedia if our tenure review committees are not going to give us a single point for it. So with the, us, the young academics and grad students, and I'm not only talking about my experiences here, I'm talking about my colleagues in, in grad uh, schools, my colleagues uh, as professors, they keep telling me, well, you know, it's a nice idea to write for Wikipedia, but I don't have time for it. I need to write a paper for the conference, a paper for the publication. and when I tell them, but you know, the paper you write is going to be read by maybe a thousand people, whereas if you post if you post research on Wikipedia, it may get ten thousand views a day. They say, well, I know that uh, work for Wikipedia may be read more widely, but again, I am not getting anything out of it, which is a big problem for public sociology and promotion of public science in general. We know that Wikipedia is very good for promoting science, but we are not rewarded for it. Uh, we are not given again promotions. We are not given scholarships. We are not even given a degree, you know, a diploma, saying this person has contributed to Wikipedia that would be recognized as something uh, by our other uh, by our colleagues. Um, so this is one of the reason why people don't academics don't write for Wikipedia. Now, why they why are they not teaching with Wikipedia? Uh, to a degree, it's similar. Again, there is no benefit in teaching with Wikipedia outside the satisfaction. Hey, you are doing something constructive with your students' time. And B, there is still, most people don't know they can teach with Wikipedia. Still probably less than one in a hundred academics even realize that they can teach with Wikipedia. And then those who do uh, are basically not given the tools to make it simple enough to do so. I've been uh, with the Wikimedia Education Program to at least two academic conferences. And I, we have talked to two, three hundred people professors telling them, here, this is what you do with Wikipedia, here's how you can teach with it, we are going to send you brochures, and so on. They even sat through half an hour workshop in some of them, and out of those 200 people in the, in the area of sociology, we didn't get any, uh, well, I don't know, what the, maybe we got two or three people, uh, I don't want to say we didn't get anybody, but uh, we are almost nobody, you know, it's like one in a hundred, one in a thousand out of the people who hear about it is going to go to the hoops and actually become a teacher, a professor, who, or a teacher, instructor, however you want to call them, who teaches with Wikipedia. And we don't have good infrastructure, we don't have good data to understand exactly where we are failing with this. Uh, one of the things we need to do is to understand why the sociology, uh, why the psychologists are successful. Because uh, psychologists, the Ameri I think is the Association for Psychological Science, Profile just recently, or mentioned briefly at least in the signpost, uh, that would be uh, what uh, mid-May uh, mid signpost for those who will be listening to this, who knows how far in the future, mid-May 2013 signpost, check it out, Wikipedia colon signpost. Mm -hmm. uh, it mentioned that um, uh, the APS uh, was uh, recruited uh, at, le at, mm, at least a few dozen professors, again, they, their students wrote those 800 articles. So APS is doing something very right. And we need to understand what APS is doing because this would be a great model to replicate across sociology and many other fields. They are onto something. I wish I could tell you what they are onto. I don't know. I want to know what they are doing right. 
Well, uh, well, that, that, that's that's quite a lot of research you have done to understand the process of the academics and uh, the behavior, general pattern of the academicians. Uh, but as a Wikipedian and also as a teacher, uh, do you suggest something that could be done which uh, kind of incentivize the efforts of the Wikipedians and and provide that platform where they are visible to the world, pe people know about the Wikipedians and their effort, and and that's how, that's probably one of the uh, you know one of the new things we could we all could try to bring more people on Wikipedia. So, I mean, I definitely think there's a lot of potential in the educational program to bring people on Wikipedia. Um, I mean, there are more students out there than Wikipedians, and if we can make the students into Wikipedians, we'll get a gigantic boom into the Wikipedian population. Of course, I am familiar with the problem that people are saying, well, we, don't, we cannot integrate that many people into Wikipedia, which is true, but nobody is suggesting we are going to be integrating millions. I mean, at this point, we are integrating maybe hundreds a year, and we seem to be doing pretty well with that. One or two hiccups in some places, notwithstanding. Overall, this is, I think, a relatively successful process. It just needs to be scaled up. The problem here is, I mean, manifold, really. One of those is very few students are going to become Wikipedia. They will contribute for their courses, and then they will stop. Um, I mean, we, uh, there are success stories of students who became into, uh, familiar with Wikipedia through education programs and then, then, we, then went to become active Wikipedia administrators, creators of many good articles and so on. But those are exceptions to the rule on the level of one in a thousand students is going to become an active Wikipedia. Maybe one in a hundred is going to become a Wikipedia who makes ten or so edits uh, uh, per month, which uh, is not really being very active. So. So far, the, pro the, the, the program we have is good at creating some content for Wikipedia and teaching students about the basics. It's definitely not good at transforming them into Wikipedia, but then uh, the question is, would it even be possible? We, I mean, uh, we have, of course, many contributors, tens of thousands to millions, depending on how you define the activity of a contributor. Um, but, and we know they did because they like free information, they like sharing, they, like, they, they do it for fun and so on. We had good data and motivation, there are excellent surveys. You can just go to Wikipedia, call on Wikipedia, they link to the survey, all data is there. Um, m maybe there, uh, just most people are not motivated by those uh, things. In the end, Wikipedia is a hobby, people have many hobbies, may not be the hobby for 99% of the world, which is fine if we can get just 1% of the world editing Wikipedia it would still be a tremendous boost. Um, but, uh, so, like, how to make Wikipedia program more popular? Uh, a, we need to, to reach to more professors. As I was saying, still 99% of professors, they, I'm, they, I'm sure they don't even know they can teach with Wikipedia. You know, maybe it's 97 in the U.S., there's been a good amount of outage in the U.S., maybe even 90% in the U.S. don't know, so 10, maybe 10% in the U.S. know about it maybe two to three in some other countries where there was some press. Uh, but again, you know, this is, those are just uh, you know, amusing numbers. The point is most don't know about it. If we can reach to them, that's one. And B, we need to make it worthwhile to them. We need to make it worthwhile for their careers to both edit Wikipedia and uh, be seen as you are editing, teaching with Wikipedia, you are being an excellent teacher, you are, you are being very innovative. And uh, one of the things you are also missing, we need a brochure, or we need something to, to convince students editing Wikipedia is good for them. As I was saying, there are always some students who will like the assignment, some, some who will even love it. Two years ago, I think one of my students, uh, Carl, was profiled in Wikimedia Foundation blog because he was such, a, such an active uh, student uh, Wikipedia. Uh, they, uh, they interviewed him. Um, they will interview usually one or two students uh, one semester at least. So. Uh, again, this is, Carl was a great example of a student who really loved the idea. And uh, it was not the only student I had who loved the idea of doing Wikipedia. I had some students in the US, I had them in Korea. But again, those are exceptions. Uh, most will most kind of shrug, they will say, oh well, another assignment, let's stuff it out. And even if they say, it's kind of cool, I often hear from students that, yeah, it was kind of cool, but you know, it was more work than I wanted to do. And in the end, uh, the, ben the benefits don't outweigh the cost. I would like to do something easier, even if uh, so that I would be learning less. Um, so I think we need 
some in brochure and video ways to tell the students that this is something extremely cool, extremely fun, and extremely beneficial to their career. I mean, they are going to be learning digital literacies. They are going to be learning how to do research, how to contribute to wikis. So wikis are using many companies. I mean, there's the 10, 20 you know, bullet points I have. I tell my students about it, but I think I'm not doing it well enough to convince all of them that this is something that they, is really beneficial for them. We really need to motivate them more. and. Um, I am, I guess, slightly out of ideas how to do so. I can say that uh, my presentation on this is probably not the best way. But there are probably better teachers than me. I'm not claiming to be the best teacher in the world. There are bad people who may have better ideas. And we just need to figure out the nice way of turning Wiki students into Wikipedians with a higher success rate than 1%. Again, brochures. You know, the Wikimedia Foundation doesn't have a single brochure designed for the students. We have 100 brochures designed. Or, okay, I'm slightly wrong. Uh, they have brochures for the students, but they are mostly focusing on how to use Wikipedia, how to work with Wikipedia. They are not brochures which tell the students this is how Wikipedia is going to benefit you. Uh, and in fact, we don't. We also don't have uh, brochures saying, uh, telling professors this is how Wikipedia is going to benefit you. We are focusing, I think, too much on the technical side and not enough on the motivational side. Now, of course, part of it is uh, Wikipedia, editing Wikipedia or teaching what is not going to benefit professors that much until the until associations start giving awards for it, until tenure committees start uh, promoting people for it. But we can do more, to, uh, I, I think. For example, I don't think a single brochure, I could be wrong, I, I don't think a single brochure t tells the professors that uh, um, the statistics for how popular articles in Wikipedia are. For example, I think that the article about uh, Karl Marx, I improved, recently was uh, classified as one of the articles that has over a million views per year. So I know that by editing this article, I improve, I, I reach it to about one million people per year, telling, teaching them about one of the fathers of sociology. Karl Marx is one of the three fathers of sociology. Or four, depending how, well, let's not, not go into the history of sociology here. The point being, I think a lot more people would be interested, both students and, prof and professors, if they knew those numbers. But we are not telling them this. We are not doing a good job telling them this is why Wikipedia is cool. We are not tying Wikipedia you know, with the academic spring, with the open access. There are people interested in those issues who are really not thinking in terms, if you contribute to Wikipedia, you are also taking part in bringing scholarship to the, to, you know, to the web point 2030 digital age, however you want to call it. So I think there's a lot out potential out that we are missing that we haven't thought through. So that would be a good idea for people to brainstorm how to tell students and professors Wikipedia is cool, great for them, great for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that, that's interesting. Uh, I also wanted to ask you about uh, uh, you know a lot of Wikipedians think uh, that Wikipedia is for serious people, people who are very motivated, very interested to contribute something to this world. And there are people out outside who think that Wikipedians are very, um, you know, they, they, they only think about their own community and uh, they don't think about the world outside Wikipedia and they don't think that uh, new people are to be groomed, are to be welcomed um, and they should be taught in a very nice and human and easy manner uh, about Wikipedia contribution. So, so what's your feedback about that? Well, I mean, I think overall there is a lot to be said that we need uh, we need to teach people about many things, including Wikipedia, in a nice, friendly way. And um, of course, it kind of this does boil to really to the teacher on the end, you know, the the human factor. If you have a good teacher, they can do a better job than a bad teacher. Uh, but of course, what's a good and what's a bad teacher? Uh, familiarity with Wikipedia is important. Most of the people who are uh, teaching with Wikipedia are not very active Wikipedians. In the, um, it's a very complex, uh, complex issue that uh, is just uh, there's no easy solution uh, to this. Um, and a lot of Wikipedians are well, actually not. Wikipedians are such a diverse group. I don't really want to generalize uh, here too much. We have some statistics about Wikipedians, not enough, 
Uh, we are not doing enough surveys to really understand ourselves, and we are being a bit too private. Uh, there's not enough data about ourselves. Again, uh, I, mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm answering you here very well, uh, <laughs> but there's just not that much. But uh, maybe if you focus on your favorite part of the question, I could give you more of a feedback. I think I kind of lost track of what we are talking about here. Sorry about that. Right, right, yeah. Um, uh, well, Peter, I also uh, think uh, that uh, education is the prime, the co core part of Wikipedia, and uh, most of the educational institutes uh, know that their students copy their assignment work from Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they also don't like Wikipedia to be uh, accessed or to be used for academic purpose. Well, so as far as plagiarism and Wikipedia, so uh, first of all, most students, in my experience, are not taught enough about plagiarism to know what it is. So as for all our complaining about students are plagiarizing, mm -hmm. we first have to realize we don't teach students what plagiarism is, the, so well, the, we reap uh, what we sow here. Uh, second, uh, well, students will try to cheat. And uh, I mean, not everyone, but a lot. I mean, it's not if I, from some culture to culture, there are various factors. But overall, people like the easy way out. Uh, so my solution for this has been quite successful, which is uh, I tell students that if they write um, uh, something for Wikipedia, well, Wikipedia has uh, hundreds of volunteers who are pretty good at detecting copyright violations. I show my students how this actually works. I show them the Wikipedia colon copyright uh, violations page, several others, and I basically tell them that if they think they can challenge the few hundred volunteers using sophisticated software uh, and try to cheat them, well, they are more than welcome to, because as far as I know, nobody has succeeded. So uh, this, this, in my experience, resulted in the drop of plagiarism rate in my own classes uh, from about 30%, that was, uh, you think, in the US in the first year I was not using Wikipedia much to close to 0%. So first of all, if you are a teacher, you want to reduce plagiarism, have your students write for Wikipedia, just make sure you explain, one, what uh, Wikipedia, um, well, one, what plagiarism is, and B, how Wikipedia deals with plagiarism. So that's uh, one uh, uh, one of the things I can say about plagiarism. And now, if, if you are worried that students are copying text from Wikipedia and pasting into your other assignments, well, not much I can say here. The students will keep, will, will try to cheat. You can kind of repeat the process, teach them about plagiarism. This should reduce the amount of plagiarism done, at least the good faith ones. And then those who will want to cheat will try to cheat them. You can try to scare them, but uh, there's not much really we can do about this uh, other than try to enforce those, those policies as well. I know that some universities don't enforce plagiarism policies, so here is another problem. If the students are not going to be punished for plagiarism, well, how can you really expect them not to do it? Mm -hmm. um, that's, um, that's true, uh, but, uh, but I think uh, it's, it's also the approach, the way uh, Wikipedians approach the educational institutes and the students and the people outside Wikipedia. Um, and, and also the noobs, people who are not geeks, people who don't know about the wiki codes. Um, they should be taught in a very nice and easy manner. And what you think are the biggest obstacles, especially uh, for the non-English Wikipedians? Well, the biggest obstacle for non-English Wikipedians, I wouldn't worry so much about plagiarism. I think that plagiarism is well, plagiarism is an issue for everyone, but uh, it's something that can be solved on Wikipedia with those two steps I mentioned. A, teach them about plagiarism, then scare them by showing them plagiarism will be caught, and if you do, do those two things correctly, you will reduce your plagiarism significantly. And now, you mentioned the biggest problem for non-English Wikipedians, and here, I think we are running into something more difficult to solve, which is their skills in, skill in English. This has been very much a learning experience for me, moving from U.S. Uh, to Korea. I mean, I like my Korean students. They are smart. They are at least as smart as my American students were. But unfortunately, their English level is not as high as the native English speakers. And I, I, I realized after a few weeks of teaching here that if I assign students a written assignment, for many of them, 
I mean, depending on quality of the of uh, how well they know English, but unfortunately, many of them are just going to resort, you know, to Google Translate. They will pro they will write the assignment in Korean, then they will feed it to Google Translate and post the, re the resulting half gibberish as their assignment. And I think some other courses with non-native English uh, speakers have run the same issue. And there is no easy solution here as far as the in English as far as the language issue, other than what I'm trying now is to move into, t uh, let's have them contribute to the Wikipedia in the language they are more, more familiar with. I know that in India you have many other languages beyond English, so I s and there are many, I think, Indian language Wikipedias uh, uh, as well. So a good idea maybe to try to, to assign students to uh, edit those Wikipedias. What I am trying to do now with my Korean students is have them contribute to both English and Korean ones. Uh, so you yeah, try to work with both languages. Um, I will see how well this will go. I, I hope that I'll be able to keep both languages in. Um, but I'm also thinking I may, uh, I may uh, allow more Korean. So the, pro the problem for me is I don't really speak Korean, so I'm relying on volunteers, Wikipedia, Korean Wikipedians, to help me out here. And uh, so far, there are very few volunteers in Korea interested in doing the education thing. So this is really hampering my efforts uh, to be able to do this well. But this is not a problem that should be affecting everyone. Hopefully, many people listening to this are going to be proficient in both, well, in all languages they are going to be working with. So in that case, again, I will encourage uh, you to see how well your students are uh, able to contribute in English. And if they are not able to contribute in English very well, then try to expand into your other language. Have them translate articles from English into that language. To do also teach them a little bit of English. Have them translate from their language or their primary native language to wiki to English. But uh, if they are having issues with this, then reduce that uh, the amount they, that they have to contribute to English. I know that from the Wikipedia perspective, there were complaints in the past that some students uh, from non-English uh, uh, countries were assigned to English Wikipedia, and because of language issues, their, their levels of contributions were quite poor. In fact, I have run into this problem last uh, last term when I was uh, uh, when I tried to import the American like the, the, the assignment I designed in US into Korea, and I realized I, it, it will not work. Language is too much of a barrier for them to achieve the good article status or even a B class for some some groups. So again, think about the language, uh, and if you can focus on the language your student, your students are proficient in, they will still get most of the benefits. I mean, or almost all of them really. They will learn how wiki work. They will be doing research. The work is going to be useful for quite a few people. Um, the only thing that you, they are going to be missing out is contributing to the biggest English encyclopedia, but if they don't know English well enough, it's, uh, why should they be contributing in a language they have problems with? Okay. Um, that's, um, that's quite uh, a detailed uh, description, I mean a detailed experience you have shared with us. Uh, uh, is there anything else you'd like to uh, tell um, probably to our audience? Well, I will, well, I mean, I can say how much I love Wikipedia and how cool a project it is, but I think many of you who will be listening to this either know it or have the idea that at least it's a pretty cool project. Um, well, I think that what I would like to tell you is we need to do more outreach. We need to teach more people about those very basics that you can edit Wikipedia, you can teach with it. And we need to teach ourselves, teach our peers that uh, contributing to Wikipedia, both as an editor as, and as a teacher, should be rewarded more. The benefits are immense, and this is my ending message, my ending point. Wikipedia is uh, the most efficient way we can teach uh, people about anything, really. But uh, in this case, anything means science, means educational topics. You want people to understand uh, to understand what sociology is. You want them to understand what um, psychology, mechanics, engineering. You want them to understand the basic concept, the advanced concept. Well, you need to make sure those things are covered on Wikipedia. If you are an educator that has some face in humanity, that has some face in you want to teach, you want to, you want to educate the world, your students, everyone else, then you should look at Wikipedia as this is you know the 
this is the perfect tool to educate the world about anything. You look at the statistics of how much Wikipedia articles on a given subject are being accessed. Most popular topics are accessed by hundreds of thousands of people every day. Uh, if people are searching for something, they usually will Google for it. Once they Google for it, they will go to Wikipedia. This is how people learn. They are 90% of people who don't have perfect data, but just uh, I think this is quite uncontroversial. Most people will go only to Wikipedia. They will not go beyond it. They will no, not go to academic articles or other sources, even if they are cited on Wikipedia. It is kind of sad, but at the same time, while people have a limited amount of time, we cannot, you know, make them to, uh, all into academics or, uh, or you know, perfect learners. We need to improve the tool they are using. You want to educate people, w make sure we contribute to Wikipedia. Have our students know how Wikipedia works, have them help the future generation of students by improving the content that they are going to be reading on Wikipedia. This, I think there's an immen immense potential for us to improve the collective knowledge, uh, le the learning level of humankind. I will use such a great word, but this is what Wikipedia is. Wikipedia is going to make us smarter by making us uh, be able to get information, good information, faster. Let's take part in this project. It's, I think it's fun to be a teacher in the 21st century because of Wikipedia. It's a revolution in, in academia. It's a revolution in uh, education. Let's enjoy it. Great. Thanks a lot, Peter, for being my show and sharing your experience and your ideas about the education program for Wikipedia. And I'll, I'll see you soon again. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you for inviting me to your, uh, to your audition. It was uh, very fun to speak on those topics. Let me know when the video is up somewhere so I can recommend it to, to my friends. Sure, and I'll do uh, good that. luck, uh, good luck with uh, with the program. I think you are doing excellent work as well. So keep up the good job.